I had to go and get hair bleach and peroxide from Ebano and this is how it is. I might not use all the whole quantity in this one because it looks quite a lot and I'll be mixing it inside this uh, plastic plate. I'm just going to turn in a bit. My hair is quite long. I might use this quantity. That's like almost half of this. It is a 400 gram bleaching powder. So I took half of it. And then I'll also be mixing it with this developer. Then I'll be pouring it in into the bowl. I'm just eyeballing it as usual. I'm just mixing it to get like a thick consistency. Not the normal. I'm going to take an ointment using shea butter. You can use any one, either shea butter, vaseline. By the face, more like oil, or something to protect your skin from roasting. I'm going to section my hair into four parts. I have combed it out, so I'm just going to section it. Before I started this video, I had washed my hair. Like I just give it a little bit of washing because I just loosened it. So I'm sectioning it into four parts. It's one part of it. So you turn this here. Okay, I got two. So I have four equal parts. This is just the one I'll be working with first. Then we have three sectioned ones. It's supposed to be the consistency. This is how it is. To start off, I'm just going to comb out just to make sure there's no knots in my hair. I don't have glove, so I'm just going to go in with my hands. I'm starting with the tips first. So if you are used to relaxing your hair, you would know how to do this for yourself. But then, just keep watching and just sectioning it and putting the hair bleach on it. So as you can see, my hair is already lifting. This is already getting hot. So now I'm just going to be doing all the edges. I'll concentrate more on the roots of my hair. I think I've gotten every corner of the hair. I think we have. I don't have a power cap, so I'm going to use the leather bag for the box. The hair dye in. I just cover it up. So I'm just going to sit down with this for maybe like an extra five minutes because I don't want to pack no blood. I just want my hair to be lifted. Not my hair. Coming out like the <laughs> I'm thinking I should go dry my hair first. So I look like a smurf. So this is not that bad. But then we have a go. We have a go. I'm using kanju spice and paprika. That is what I'm mixing together for this. So, I'm just going to pour this in. I don't know the quantity that I need. So, let's just start somewhere. I'm just going to mix this in. 
I'm just section my hair. So we're going to wear leather on our hands because I don't have gloves. So this will serve as my glove. Oh god, this is really red. So basically what I'm doing is just creating the part, pulling it out and then applying a layer of the hair dye. I wasn't able to film a video showing you guys my hair but I have a clip that I made when I was at the hair salon and this is how my hair was in the UK yeah and currently this is how my hair is let me see if I can take down this front part okay treat back yeah so this is how my hair is looking after two weeks after two weeks of dyeing my hair, this is how it looks. I have had to like re-dye the front part of my hair because I wash my face and anytime I wash my face, the dye goes off. So apparently, I do dyes, I wash it off because whenever I wash my hair, it goes off. Just that I feel next time, I will find a permanent dye. I saw some of those box dyes in the supermarkets and they're over like 10,000 yen. Why are hair dyes expensive in Nigeria? Please recommend any permanent hair dye that you know of that I could try because I'm tired of having to like reapply it on my edges. However, I didn't really dye my hair evenly because you can still see some black peeking out, even though they're like new roots, but then I saw like some patches of black in them out. To top things up, I decided to use the color of the attachment to braid my hair yeah so anyway guys that is the end of this video and you found this helpful please make sure you give us a thumbs up make sure you like share subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye guys